We're here with Mike Mallory at News Channel 6. Mike, thanks for being on the show. Thank you. You recently were at Murray State University and hosted the Presidential Lecture Series. Talk about what that was like just being asked to do that. So it was an honor. Uh, someone from Dr. Dunn's office called and asked if I would come down, Josh Jacobs to be exact. And I said, sure, it sounds great. I even told him I don't normally do things at night because I get up at 3 o'clock every morning, <laughs> but I'll make an exception for this because, you know, I've been watching those guys uh, 20 years at least and I uh, was kind of anxious to meet them. And what did you think of the overall lecture series? It was great. It was uh, well organized. Uh, everyone at Murray State uh, had a nice crowd and it was it was ugly weather. I, I remember thinking this is a shame to get these two in here and nobody will be mm -hmm. there and I got there and the place was packed. I thought that was quite a testament to the way uh, the people there at the university and then and the community so you know helped support it and it was just very impressive. Now being with the media you know every day of your life where do you get your political information? Blogs, internet, newspaper, where do you find your All of those, listen a lot on the radio. I used to make the joke that I listen to Rush Limbaugh for 10 minutes and then I watch <laughs> Keith Olbermann for 10 minutes and somewhere in the middle is, is the truth. But really just a little bit of everything and is, it's, it's the only way you can do it. And so one thing James Carville spoke about, don't lock in on one thing. Don't just keep listening to the same things you've been hearing since you were 15 years old. Definitely. Now it's gotta be nice being from Paducah to know that just an hour away something like this is going on. Mm -hmm. Um, so how do you think that might benefit the students at Murray State who are right there on campus? Oh, it's, it's you know, when I was a student at Western, I had the same sorts of things and, and I took advantage of it. A lot of them don't, they don't care. But the ones who did, who are well-informed students and really appreciate things like this, um, they go out, they appreciate it, and it, uh, it, it's something you never forget. I'm, I, I will never forget some of the uh, speakers I saw when I was a student at Western and, and I think the ones who were there that night, will, uh, they'll have good memories of that too. Now everybody can see you here every morning on News Channel 6, but what are you doing outside of your time? I mean, are they sending you on events like that often, or is this just like a one-time thing? Um, that's really just up to us. I mean, they just call, and they'll sometimes call and ask, just in general, ask the newsroom, mm -hmm. can somebody come MC our event? But usually they call specifically and ask for us, and it's just up, up to us if we can work it in our schedule. And then, of course, I do stuff with St. Jude and uh, the Alzheimer's Association. Those are kind of my two pet pe pet. Uh, Pet projects. I almost said pet peeves. <laughs> they would not be pet peeves. Um, and then how did this compare to all of the, like, I mean, how did the presidential lecture series compare to other things that you've maybe hosted or done in the past? It was, it was very memorable. And I, you know, um, people ask me all the time, Who, who's the most famous person you've ever interviewed or whatever? And I always draw a blank. I cannot mm -hmm. think of anybody because it always, it kind of just, you know, blends in together mm -hmm. after a while. But this one I will remember for a while because um, I was uh, actually in Bowling Green the weekend before with some old college friends. And I said, "Hey, guess uh, guess what? I, guess who I'm having dinner with?" I was kind of joking. <laughs> yeah. but guess I'm having guess who I'm spending Monday evening with? And I told him James Carville and Mary Mallon. Everyone in the room started like doing impressions of James Carville, That's or, or saying, "You you ask Mary Mallon, how does she stand that guy?" I mean, they, <laughs> everybody connected with those two. They know who they are. Well, we were so glad to have you on campus, and we hope that maybe you can host future events like that. Absolutely, yeah. I, uh, call me anytime.